you start feeling a little bit faint, you just feel the energy suck out of you and yeah, I, I realize when I'm having a hypo, I'll start to get the shakes and my muscles will go completely. I'll start sweating. So, you know, I'm a, quite a cold person. So when I start getting hot out of the middle of nowhere, I'm like, okay, now it's time to check the sugars. But sometimes, yeah, when you see the reading on screen, that's when, you know, the feeling of the hypo intensifies immediately for me. Even if before I felt okay, yeah, it can be really scary, especially if you're not, you know, in a place where you're able to sit down and just rest and just sit there because, you know, the smallest thing like walking around the block or having to go upstairs, that, that little energy exertion can drop your sugars so much more. And just being in the right place at the right time, which is not always going to happen with life, but yeah, it's a scary feeling. Hypoglycemia or hypos are not pleasant and can make you feel really unwell. A hypo is a low blood glucose level below 4 millimole, even if you don't have symptoms. Not everyone who has diabetes is at risk of having hypos. Hypos are a side effect of insulin and one type of glucose lowering tablet called sulfonylureas. Sulfonylurea tablets come in different brand names and the name sulfonylurea won't be written on your box of tablets. So ask your doctor if you're not sure if you're at risk of having hypos. Most people know when they're going low due to the warning signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. Once you feel these warning signs, treatment must be given to bring your glucose levels back up over four millimole. It's important to treat hypos as soon as you feel your symptoms and or your glucose levels are below four millimole. Hypos need to be treated with 15 grams of quickly absorbed carbohydrate, also known as rapid acting carbohydrate, such as one of the following. One, glucose tablets equal to 15 gram of carbohydrates. Two, six to seven regular jelly beans or four large glucose jelly beans. Three, one tube of oral glucose gel. Four, half a can of regular soft drink, not diet. 5, 100 ml of Lucasaid Energy, 6, 3 teaspoons of honey or sugar, and 7, half a glass of fruit juice. These can be used to treat a hypo because they raise your blood glucose levels quickly. Wait 10 to 15 minutes, then recheck your glucose level to make sure it's risen above 4 millimole. If it hasn't, have another 15 grams of your rapid acting carbohydrate. Once your glucose level is above 4 millimole, you'll need to eat some extra carbohydrate, unless you'll be having your meal within 20 minutes. This extra carbohydrate food should be something that is more slowly absorbed, such as 1. A slice of bread 2. Glass of milk or soy milk 3. A piece of fruit 4. One tablespoon of sultanas 5. One small tap or 100 grams of fruit yogurt Hypos can be caused by too much insulin or medication, skipping a meal, not eating enough carbohydrate foods, physical activity and exercise, and drinking too much alcohol. It's important to treat hypos quickly and with enough carbohydrate, otherwise your glucose levels can continue to drop, and this may lead to a severe hypo. A severe hypo is one that you can't treat yourself and where you need help from someone else can also result in you going unconscious and having a seizure. Some people have difficulty detecting hypos or even have no warning at all. This is called impaired awareness of hypoglycemia and it can be dangerous as it can increase the risk of you having a severe hypo. Impaired awareness of hypos is more common in people with type 1 diabetes and the risks can be increased by 1. Having frequent hypos during the day or while sleeping Two, not treating hypos at the first sign of a hypo symptom or as soon as your glucose drops below four millimole. Three, living with diabetes for a long time and being exposed to more hypos. And four, increasing age. As people age, it can sometimes be harder to feel a hypo. If you think you may have impaired awareness of hypos, 
please raise this with either your endocrinologist, your doctor, or your diabetes nurse educator. A few things that you can do if you have impaired awareness of hypos are, check your glucose levels more frequently, use a continuous glucose monitor. This allows you to check your glucose levels in real time and alarms can be set to alert you if your levels go too high or too low and arrows can tell you whether your glucose level is rising or falling. And see your healthcare team to make adjustments to your insulin or medication doses. Blood glucose target ranges and to discuss beneficial technology such as pumps, CGMs or new insulins. Hypoglycemia can impair your ability to drive safely. If you have impaired awareness of hypos, see your doctor because you'll need a medical clearance to be able to drive. Before driving, always check your glucose level and make sure it's above five millimol. Remember, don't drive under five. If you're having more than a couple of hypos a week, speak to your doctor and diabetes team as you may need to make some adjustments to your insulin or medication doses. Finally, most of all, remember to be kind to yourself and realistic about your expectations of yourself when living with a condition that can be very unpredictable. And always carry a hypo kit with you so you're prepared.